Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. Today we have another Motorsport Games Insider uh, information article to go over from once again Mike Straw over at Insider Gaming who's absolutely been popping off uh, and has kind of been a godsend to the NASCAR gaming community in kind of getting us uh, info that Motorsport Games doesn't seem to want us to know. Link to this article uh, will be down below in the the description as usual massive shout out to Mike Straw who has been popping off like I said uh, and getting us information that I think the community deserves so uh, this one uh, he had kind of teased in uh, earlier in the week that this was gonna be coming out and it was what motorsport games told employees after reporting fourth quarter earnings it is no secret uh, that motorsport games had a really rough fourth quarter earnings report and on top of that with the financial losses we also saw you know cancellation of NASCAR 23 uh, the DLC for heat 5 has been canceled and whatnot um, as well the heat 5 servers real quick have come back up actually I never thought that would happen uh, but they are back up but the IndyCar game is well delayed until next year Let's dive into this article that Mike actually put together though. So last Friday, Motorsport Games reported its fourth quarter and full year 2022 financial results to investors, media, and employees. Within the call came the news that the IndyCar game scheduled for 2023 wasn't going to be released this year and that the company was still evaluating what will happen with NASCAR 23. We know the IndyCar game, like I said, it's not coming out this year. Well, it's not going to come out at all, very likely. And what will happen with NASCAR 23, obviously we have been, uh, later informed that that game has not even ever left the design stages since NASCAR 21 Ignition's development. That is an unbelievable embarrassment for a game development studio. As as well, you see, in addition to the game announcement, uh, the company reported a net loss of $36.8 million for 2022. This comes after 2021, some Motorsport Games report a net loss of $33.7 million. So if you thought 2021 was really rough for them in terms of financials, well, well, they managed to get even worse for them in 2022 as a whole. Mike continues the article uh, with stating here, obviously many are concerned about the state of the company after yet another year of multi-million dollar losses. Immediately after the earnings call, Motorsport Games CEO Dimitri Kosko sent a company-wide email to update the staff, which is kind of what this is about. What has Motorsport Games been telling uh, its employees? And Kosko started the email off by thanking employees for their, quote, unwavering dedication and hard work at Motorsport Games. Uh, he then talked about some of the issues the company has faced over the last 12 months and quote again, the past year has been filled with trials including the ongoing war in Ukraine and operational hurdles which have tested our uh, resilience as a company. Costco wrote, your efforts have enabled us to make significant strides in our product release schedule and continue our focus on uh, developing immersed IndyCar and NASCAR gaming experiences. He then continued to tout the company's recent $11.3 million capital raise, the $4 million debt exchange with Motorsport Network, and the completion of its 1 for 10 reverse stock split as reasons to be optimistic about the future. That said, Costco once again brought up uncertainties, but I'm going back to the middle paragraph right there uh, and kind of where Costco's talking about your efforts have enabled us to make significant strides in our product release schedule and continue our focus on developing immersive in IndyCar uh, and NASCAR gaming experience. Significant strides, I mean, if if you guys have made significant strides and the NASCAR 23 game's not even happening and the IndyCar got your IndyCar game got delayed till another year and we already know that's not going to come out. Uh, that is absolutely insane to me. But um, yeah, so uh, huge losses. They addressed it and let's go a little bit further down. Another quote here, I want to remind you that the strength of Motorsport Games lies in our people, Costco said, uh, together we will continue to drive the only official racing games forward, creating the most immersive and engaging racing games for our fans. Uh, he closed the email to Motorsport Games employees by announcing the hiring of a new CFO, Jason Potter. Potter has been the EVP and Chief Accounting Officer of Motorsport Network since May 
2022. Now that makes a lot more sense. I was wondering why would someone accept a role there, uh, but they're a part of Motorsport Network to begin with now as well. Someone sent me the tweet when Dimitri stepped down as CFO. Um, I think they kind of jumped the gun a little bit thinking that Dimitri had left Motorsport Games, but that is not at all what happened. He actually was only temporarily in the CFO position as well, and now Jason Potter has that position. Regarding the state of NASCAR and IndyCar Gaming, however, uh, Insider Gaming has reached out to NASCAR, IndyCar, and Motorsport games so far requests for comment from nascar and motorsport games have gone unanswered that's very disappointing to hear however sources close to the development have said that nascar 23 never fully made it out of the designing stage indycar did provide a response so before we jump in on the nascar thing there let's read the response IndyCar says, Motorsport Games has reported that they continue to make strides in their development efforts, but they do not believe they will be in a satisfactory position to release an IndyCar game this year. We are evaluating this information and remain thoroughly committed to bringing the best quality video game products to the IndyCar community. I mean, IndyCar, you guys already know you screwed up tremendously with this move and they are trying to kind of back it up, which, I mean, I guess that's really all they can do. You, I mean, I almost feel bad for IndyCar, but at the same time, I don't because, you know, they went for this move and uh, with the track record that Motorsport Games has, uh, so it's hard to feel bad for them, but at the same time, it's, you know, I kind of do feel bad for them to uh, struggle so hard with marketing of their sport, finally feel like they've got something with the, their own video game instead of saying relying on iRacing and then it all crumbles down just like this and I really feel bad for IndyCar especially if they're optimistic uh, about getting a game that's going to be good because they are going to be in for a harsh reality check whenever the time comes. And just below the article ends with the last full scale released by Motorsport Games was NASCAR 21 Ignition back in October 2021. That company released NASCAR Rivals for the Nintendo Switch, which was more of an enhanced version of NASCAR Heat Plus or Premium, whatever the heck it was called in October 2022. So that's the article uh, that Mike Straw put together. Uh, thanks again to Mike for continuing to cover uh, these issues because it feels like I think he's probably the only one, <laughs> you know, only gaming journalist that's kind of uh, covering this very important thing in the NASCAR gaming world and, and as well with IndyCar. So, uh, but you know, back to earlier in the article, just quickly touching upon, um, you know, the NASCAR not actually giving a response is a little bit disappointing and uh you know as well i had some talks with certain people uh as well very recently after i posted my last video about the motorsport game situation and, and nascar 23 and the heat 5 dlc being canceled and um i'm not gonna say who it was but they brought up a really good point in how we all wonder if what as well of course is well, how come Motorsport Games hasn't lost a license yet? How come the contract hasn't been terminated? There's got to be something in there that's, that they've got to have breached at this point. Well, even if they have, uh, a great point was brought to me uh, that, well, there might not be another company right now that's really interested or willing to take on the NASCAR license. So why would NASCAR terminate a contract in, you know, get nothing out of it at that point when they know they're not going to get anything because someone else is interested right now. Now, you would think iRacing would be interested, um, but I mean, who knows at this point, but that's the overview of the article written up by Mike Straw there from Insider Gaming. The link down below, you can check out the article for yourself, read it through uh, and whatnot. Um, and as well, I'll link Mike's Twitter because he's always posting stuff on his Twitter uh, about the situation and whatnot as well. But yeah, let me know what you think. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.